Well, the maximum sentence was uh, 40 years. The prosecution and family had asked for 30. The judge said 22.5. There is a feeling among the people that I spoke with, while that, of course, is a significant and a long sentence, it could have been even more to send a stronger message. Let's go to some video of myself and Earl Afari Hutchinson and Reverend John Mosley. They are longtime community activists and advocates for equal justice, particularly for members of communities of color. They spoke with me about the verdict after we both watched it. Both felt it was a significant statement, could have been longer, but it does represent progress. The 25 years and above uh, should have been a sentence for Mr. Derek Chauvin uh, because, again, it, it's, it's, it was a global witnessing of a murder. Torture. Torture. We want to make sure with Chauvin that the message goes out. Any police officer, and I can't understate that enough, any police officer that abuses their badge, abuses their authority, victimizes a civilian, there's going to be a severe punishment, a severe penalty, and it's not going to be drug out. Now back live here in South LA in front of a Black Lives Matter mural that's been here for uh, some time. I also felt it was important, Alex and Christine, to of course bring in the viewpoint of Melina Abdullah, co-founder of Black Lives Matter Los Angeles, one of the loudest voices for police reform, defunding the police, if you will, and also police accountability. This was part of her reaction to the verdict. The sentence, um, this conviction and the sentence, again, is not justice. It's a semblance of accountability and compels us to continue to organize. Justice would be what in your view? Justice would be George Floyd still being here. Justice would be that, you know, Black folks don't walk around with targets on our backs. Justice takes the form of defunding the police and reimagining public safety. Now, remember, there are three other officers facing criminal charges uh, later. And also, Alex and Christine, there are federal criminal charges pending against all four. So we have not seen the end of this story by a long shot.